Hello everyone, this is Trekkie 1701 c and let's go ahead and start Act 3 of FS Fort. Uh, last time the Galate got blown up by the Lucifer, so uh, we're now based off of the Bastion. There are a few of us left. We know we will soon be gone, and so we can see our fate as others will see it. There will be little legacy, no great expressions of what we once were. Our technology, our achievements, if ever they are seen again, will spawn none of the awe that filled our conquests. We know our fate. We are being eliminated. When we traveled subspace, the cosmic destroyers took note. When we conquered and colonized in galaxies where we had no place, the destruction and the anguish and the loss were the clarion call of our doom. And so, the destroyers came for us. Well, that's a this great little Admiral upbeat Shima. note. I'll be delivering your command briefs while you're on board the GTD Bastion. Oh, we lose our ship and I then we get another no context cutscene that's basically all is lost, all is lost. I wish your reassignments could have come under better circumstances. The loss of the Galte is a great blow to all of us. We've lost many friends and loved ones. We've also lost many great pilots. We will need to double our efforts if we plan on stopping the Sheevan fleet. I say more than double. I mean, just This brings me screwed. to the reason for this briefing. Some of you may have already heard, shortly after the destruction of the Galate at 1900... Okay, so yeah, that uh, was the wrong uh, for the... Uh... To the Prime. Cutscene the there, but fleet bombarded the Suda Prime from orbit for 13 uh, that hours. That cutscene was actually one that uh, I had to manually add, and uh, it's uh, actually a community made cutscene. And they had said to put it in that Most mission. Most transport ships were destroyed. Uh, I suppose if I were to do this again, I would uh, move the no context cutscene to the next mission the unless there's a, another cutscene or something like we that. We lost contact with all Tyran ships in the area, but it appears that the Sheevan fleet has now moved on. It's estimated that four billion innocent Basudans lost their lives in the attack. Well, that's actually Tyran relatively low, given all like their technical the level here. of uh, expertise. Uh, I mean, keep in mind, there's 7 billion people on, on Earth, Earth right now, and, making further moves towards and uh, we've been put on standby I mean, theoretically, in order we could to have more people on, there, uh, on the planet the Prime and the uh, before systems. we even exhaust the we've ability of us to feed Antares the is people undefended. here. The is a and that's not even system. including, like, being able to bring in resources from other the planets. The Banshee laser is now ready so for deployment. So, four million We've people is a low. Shipment of them. So, that's the good, Banshee I suppose. specifically designed to take down Sheevan shields. Okay, I don't remember the Banshee. Uh, I guess we'll see how well it works. We have also received Ooh, a full supply Hornet. of Hornet Swarm Missiles. These uh, are the best last time, or during one of the last missions, I remember saying that uh, there was a missile that like you shot a bunch of them and it was basically one hit if they all hit you. Uh, this is something along the same lines. It's uh, really, really cool. So, let's see what happens. Pilot attend. As you know, Vasuda Prime has been devastated. Our focus must now shift to the evacuation of the survivors. You are to take your wing to the subspace node cluster in the Alpha Centauri system. A subspace node cluster in Alpha Centauri. There are three subspace nodes in this sector. They lead to Vasuda, Aldebaran, and Sirius. Civilians will be transported from Vasuda to Aldebaran. The Sudan warships will travel to and from both the Sirius and the Suda jump points. This mission, because I think I remember it, it was like system, really fucking stupid and basically they just set it up so that you would basically be Additional sitting in the same spot. You as, they arrive. Uh, as far as I know, that's the only like cluster of jump nodes. But, oh well, it'll give us a chance to shoot at some things. So you got the Prometheus there, and we've got the Banshee. Uh, see, it doesn't say anything about uh, hull damage on the Banshee, so I think I will go with their recommendation. Got the Hornets, and... Okay, the Interceptor, I think, is the... Uh, 
I think that's the one that's like really good at taking out bombers. So that one or Ah, I see, that's the... I don't think I'm going to use uh, Phoenix instead of the Interceptor there. So, let's go ahead and fly this mission. And those jump nodes are really close together. I mean, I'm sure this is something that was an engine limitation at the time. But, uh... It still just kind of struck me as being a little bit stupid. We are carrying survivors from the city prime to Aldebaran. Alpha Wing, please provide escort. We are carrying supplies for our forces in the Cirrus sector. Please provide escort. So they're going from the Suda to Cirrus with supplies. I thought the system was basically devastated. I mean, that is, yeah, that's the pseudo jump node. Let's see. Doesn't tell me what's on him. It says food is on there, so, uh. Enemy wing just arrived! Oops, got bombers. Switch to the bomber intercept missiles and. Fire! Well, let's come straight in and take this guy out. Okay, so just two bombers, that's not a whole lot. I think he's just firing regular missiles too, because that didn't look like a bomb. They're not normally nearly that fast. Oh, it might help if I actually switch to both the weapons. Great shot. Yep, there we go. Got uh, more Sheevens in here. Let's see what the Hornets do. Kappa 4, entering subspace. That's a lot of missiles. And that's the nice thing about them, you know, you can drop countermeasures, but you're not too terribly likely to evade all of them. Okay, so this is sort of a good weapon combo. I lose a lot of, uh... Firing speed, I suppose, uh, but it does mean that when I do get in close to the Sheevans, I can just basically rip their shields apart. One other thing that kind of is surprising me is I'm not seeing uh, any objective list here. Usually, that's uh, also pretty good to use to kind of get an idea of how many bombers are left or how many enemy fighters are left, and uh, I'm just not seeing that right now, so it's kind of trying to have to guess. I can see right there, their signatures had basically merged, so uh, as far as you can tell, there was just one bomber, and it wasn't until you got on top of them you could see there were two. I'll go ahead and call it Sport. There we go. He's gone. Let's go ahead and stop. Sounds like somebody got hit. Uh, heard a little collision noise there, but it uh, didn't show up as a collision on my ship. Oops. That... Nope. Eastern Terran, please assist us in escorting additional survivors from the Suda Prime. We are heading to Aldebaran. You know, with all this activity around the, the Suda... Alpha Centauri uh, jump node, it seems like, uh, yeah, it seems like the Sheevans would figure out and, like, go through there. The Sheevans are sending in cruisers to secure this area. Get away yeah. now. Oh, okay. The ancient legends are true. So, good thing I stocked up on the Phoenix. And actually, the Hornet, if I remember right, actually can do a hell of a lot of damage to cruisers as well. Got a lot... So actually, I'm going to switch back to Phoenix here just so I can do more damage to the uh, bombers. Because the Hornets are going to be better for uh, the any sort of anti-fighter work. And I can see that a fighter did jump in. 
because the Hornets are a bit more maneuverable, and so they're going to be a little bit harder to dodge when you've got a bunch of maneuverability on your end, which, uh, you know, fighters are, of course, significantly more maneuverable than uh, bombers. Kappa 9, departing area. Alpha, listen up. The Shivans are trying to stop the vessels leaving Basuda Prime. Entering subspace. The They're trying to stop them. Uh, the the we are also sending a wing of freighters to resupply them. It is critical that these freighters make it to their destination. You must ensure that they make it safely to their jump points. Carry on, Alpha 1. It's like they didn't even expect the Shivans would react to this. This is Kappa 10, entering subspace. Heads up, we have company! Okay, let's go ahead and uh, attack these fighters unless, uh... Occasionally, fighters will actually jump in as kind of a decoy. And they'll basically be there so that you lock onto them, get focused on them, and then bombers will jump in. And... Uh, doesn't look like that's happening here because I'm not seeing any bomber signatures on my uh, scanner. Let's go ahead and fire missiles. Ah, uh, that was a waste of missiles then. Oh, well, support's going to be here in a moment. That was pretty close with those fighters there. Uh, fortunately, the AI does have some limited collision detection. So they won't always hit you if you get in their way. Sometimes they'll go. Sometimes they'll hit you even if you don't get in their way, but... Rearming there complete, we go. Sir. Let's see, where are those... I guess, going. I guess towards that jump node, so let's head that way. Because that is a Basuda jump node anyways, so uh, that's probably where our next batch of ships will be coming from anyways. Especially since they said something about cruisers coming in. Oh shoot, I wonder why he broke off right there. Probably just doing escort I guess. Oh, so they were escorting too, so they sent in a grand total of three fighters to counterattack the Shivans. Those guys are so going to die. Now I guess we uh, wait for the next wave of ships to come in whenever that happens. I really think they probably could have spaced these out a little bit more. It just, you know, I feel kind of like boxed in, just sitting in the same little area the entire mission. There we go. Oh, just transports coming in. Please provide cover for us. Our destination is all the Baron. Just arrived. Alright, let's go ahead and close in on these fibers here. I still like how no Shivans have managed to come in through the Pseudo Node. Okay, got a missile. There we go. You can see right there that uh, when those missiles did all hit, they did really rip apart that one fighter. And granted, I think I had hit him a few times and damaged his forward shields, but uh, they still do quite a bit of damage. I mean, so does uh, Phoenix, but uh, the Phoenix is much easier to dodge. Or, well, I guess evade is the uh, proper language. Lock on it, I 
I still fired my missiles. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. Oh, glad to know I'm not the only one that fires missiles too close. Uh, he did actually fire a missile at me, but he was so close that it just was not going to hit. Good kill. There we go. Kind of turning out like the asteroid mission, just really not much to do. Like I said, I really didn't like this mission too much. Because what sucks is it's not uh, really close to finishing yet. At least I don't think it is. Because I remember more retarded dialogue. Impressive pilot. Probably try and rearm. Because there was something about cruisers. I thought they're just sending all those raiders in, just like the only escort is us, I guess. And they said something about losing all Terran Enemy contact in the ride. area. Let's just unload the last of these. Wow, well, he actually managed to dodge all of them. Starting to get a little bit uh, more active here. Oops, that was a friendly. I think. Maybe. Oops, and he's lost his cargo container. Oh, well, at least the medical supplies and the weapons got through. Enemy wing has just arrived. I'm not sure what's going to happen inside the little bit back dialogue, and I, I'm almost positive those cruisers actually show up at some point, but I might be entirely wrong, because uh, this mission is one that I kind of just gloss over when I'm just playing it solo, and in fact, uh, occasionally, you know, I've uh, just cheated at it. Like, uh, I've played this, I think, three times. Uh... I uh, cheated a few times at it. In fact, I think I cheated twice. But like I said, it's it's been forever since I've even played this, so uh, not one hundred percent sure. Data 
Everyone jumping out now. Well, hopefully the next wave of freighters will come in. Almost uh, 15 minutes into this mission and still just doing random escorts. And uh, I guess uh, another wave of fighters coming in to head to the reinforcements. Oh, here we go. Cruisers. Two cruisers arriving. Attacking your target. Switch to the Phoenix and hold way back here so that I can fire at range. Actually, I'm going to switch to the other cruiser here and close in. Let's see, Kane and Abel. Oh, these already came in damaged, so this is going to be easy. So let's switch to just the Prometheus. One human cruiser is down. Because I really don't need oh shit. I was a little bit too close to him, but it doesn't look like it took any damage. There we go. Roger, sir. On our way. They really should have sent those guys in at full strength, because that would have been a little bit more fun. Listen up, Alpha-1. The Vasudans are sending in the Macross to help secure the area. You will stay with the Macross until additional fighters can be sent to relieve your post. Protect the Macross at all costs. Okay, so it sounds like it's starting to come to an end. So, what kind of a uh, name is Macross? Bonus objective complete. Macross here. I'm going to have to actually look it up what the bonus objective was. Maybe uh, they didn't think we could take out those crippled cruisers or something. Oh, I should probably wait for the support ship. Just in case something actually does happen, I have to switch the Banshee back on. Good thing I did because I got incoming bombers. The Sheevans are going after the Macross. Stop those bombers! Rearming complete, sir. Oh, they are really close. Long and fire. Okay, let's come around and. Dang! Being thrown around a little bit by somebody. Something's going on. Oh, they're shooting out bombs. Good kill. Oh, shoot. Well, he's dead. So, that didn't take long. Maybe when it hits its waypoint. Oh, away. there we go. You stand relieved of your watch. Return Finally. To 18 and a half minutes of all this bullshit. And finally we get the return to base objective. So let's go ahead and jump out of here so I can end this video. You did an Meritorious unit. Protecting the I guess we're sitting through all actions, that bullshit. Save countless lives. You should feel proud of this accomplishment. You were also able to keep the area secured until we establish a stronger foothold in the system. Well done. What we are most impressed with, however, is your protection of each and every ship. We did not lose a single freighter or transport, and the Macross well, the shoot, they the actually sent in an actual credible really force that wasn't half crippled. For this, we are awarding you the meritorious unit. Oh well, uh, it should get better here soon. Uh, there's only about nine more missions left in that best port, and uh, then we'll be doing the community-made campaign, Silent Threat Reborn, which is uh, actually my favorite community campaign and actually fixes a lot of the issues between uh, Free Space 1 and Free Space 2, and it's based off of the original Silent Threat expansion. But until then, 
This is Trekkie1701C. Please remember to subscribe, rate, and comment.